Hi Flosstube, Ashley here, Boogie Stitcher on YouTube, Shlizm underscore Boogie Stitcher on Instagram, coming to you guys with another bi-weekly update. Lots of stitching this time. We have lots of whips that were worked on, a new start, and I let several different people pick what I worked on um, for a few days, some, some projects, which was really fun, so let's just get into it. First off, thank you all for, for joining. Any newcomer, newcomers or um, anyone who's returning, thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me while I talk about all of my cross stitching and any of my progress. I really appreciate everybody and I just love this community so much. So thank you guys so much for coming and viewing my video. All right, let's go ahead and get into, it is October. So I did a new journal entry. I will go ahead and pick, uh, post a picture of this in the video so you can see it correctly. And not backwards, but I did do a new October. So since this is the second month that I have done my journal and I'm still keeping up on it, which is awesome, I decided, um, you know, I'm still learning how I like to do things. So what I decided to do this time is instead of putting notes down here at the bottom, I um, have all my whips in a list in order of what I've worked on over here. And then the next page, I'm going to keep all of my notes. So that way, because I kind of ran out of room. Um, to put all of my notes and any new starts and anything last month. So that's what I decided to do this time. I'm still keeping up on it. So there's that. And it's been super helpful actually to do my video uh, while keeping a journal because all I had to do was look at my journal to see what I had stitched on um, since my last video, grabbed all that, have it all stacked up right here. It's a big stack <laughs> and it was a lot of fun. So let's get to it. So I um, sent several people a message um, this last couple weeks and said, hey, what should I stitch on? And I found it so much fun um, stitching what other people want to stitch. I know some people use the random wheel and I have used that. I think I might try and use that a little bit more when I, you know, I've already asked everyone what I should work on. Um, but I just find there's like an accountability when you have someone, an actual person pick your project because then you, I mean, you want to send them an update picture of what you stitch on their project that they picked. So it's like this crazy accountability. Um, I don't know. I just really like it. And it really gets me motivated to actually stitch what they picked because I want to show them progress. So it's super cool. But anyway, um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you this. It is the lion, the silk lion, my 50 by 70. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. This is my silk line. Kath picked this. I'll go ahead and um, link her Instagram right here. Uh, so I just, with this project, what I originally did is I started over here. Um, this is silk, which is why it's showing up so shiny. Um, I did here, but now what I did this time is I continued with the lion's like skin and the top of like the leaves above his head. So I know it's so big. I'm so sorry <laughs> to show. I did a little bit of his eye right here and now I'm just basically trying to fill in the lion going down to his eyeball. So there she be. Lots of cream color, so it's really hard to see, um, but all this is kind of done right there. So that's why I stitched for Kath. It's been a really long time since I've brought this out, like before June, so it's kind of nice to stitch on it. Okay, done pile. Next up, I had Emma pick me a project, and she, I'll go ahead and post her Instagram right here. Um, she... my cherry blossom tree and so I got a fair bit done stitched on that as well so originally I had kind of all this done and so I basically just went right here and filled in a bunch of the flowers so there's that there's the whole thing it's really hard to see what it actually is but it's a cherry blossom tree um, which with a bunch of birds on it so it's really pretty that. 
Okay, next up I let my mom pick what I should stitch on and she picked the Phoenix, which I worked on the Phoenix when she picked it and then I also worked on the Phoenix a little bit more as well. Let me find her. She's There she is. I know the Phoenix is one of the favorites of everybody, so. So I got about 600, 700 stitches done on this since last time. Total, I think I'm at 29,000 something. I know it's all wrinkly. There's so much fabric here, but that's what I did. So just going in, filling in here, and I'm again working down diagonally so I can get to the Phoenix's nose. So I stitched in all this yellow right here, stitched in a bunch of this yellow, and just filled in kind of everywhere. So all these little dots are like little flames, or not flames, um, like um, ash, like burning ash basically. So it's looking really good. Again, remember this is the top left corner. Everything will be backwards because I prefer to do the portrait view or selfie view so I can I can see if everything's in frame. Good. I've tried the mirror. Don't really like it. It's fine. That's what I like to do. Okay, next up is I decided to stitch in, in this moment. I haven't stitched on this one in a really long time and I decided, you know, I'm kind of feeling it lately. So... Again, it's gonna be so hard to see what I've actually done because of all the cream colors, but. <laughs> so here she is. I've stitched almost this page in entirety. Um, I have just a couple stitches here to finish. I have a couple fill in stitches down here in the bottom corner of the page and then right down here. And then this first page is done and I'm working still on the second page. So she's doing good. This is, um. 22 count ten. Uh, three over one. No, two over one tent. Jeez. Jeez. I'm now at this point just trying to finish filling in what I've done because I think this one I'm going to convert to working in columns. I'm going to try and work in columns. That's how I stitch my stamped kits, and I just love the way it turns out because I'm filling in everything as I go. Um, you know, so it's like a cross country by column kind of thing and by color. There's that. I'm gonna save the new star until the end. <laughs> Be easier to insert the picture and everything. All right, next up is I have the book girl. And I didn't get too much done on her this time. I only stitched on her once, so I think I got about 200 stitches done. Um, but again, just filled in a little bit more of this castle and then filled in a little bit more of the face, but not very much. Again, only a couple hundred, so you might not even see any progress. <laughs> from last video. There she is. From far away. I love the way the Castle Peak looks. It's just so pretty. I just, ah, every time I do a video, I'm like, oh, I love this one. <laughs> okay, next up is my mom's fairy. I actually have this one out of the frame this time because I needed a frame for something else. And I've stitched a fair bit on this, so let me move the needle minder. Okay, so here we go, everybody. Here's the whole picture. There she is. I guess I've only stitched kind of up to there. A little bit further than that, but that's about where I've stitched to. There we go. Okay, there she is. I love the way her wing is looking and I've uh, started stitching in this background. That's pretty much what I did this time. Last time I filled in some of the wand and a little bit of flowers and her skin down here, her hand. Um, this last time I decided to start filling in here because again, I like working in about four columns, working, filling in and either going down or to the side. So whatever I feel like, but it's just easier. You don't miss as much. You don't leave all one bulk color to the end. I don't know. I just, I just really like it. So, there's the on. Sorry. Anyway, so start filling in some of the leaves. Works out really good. Love the way she's turning out. She's gonna be my next main stamped kit, or probably main project, honestly. Um, after I finish the other present that I'm working on, since this is a present for my mom. Um, so yeah, but we'll talk about that more a little bit when we're talking about plans. So there she is. 
<sighs> Next up, my, ooh, my peony girl. So I haven't worked on her in a really long time. My mom picked her also. I forgot she picked her. So again, I started picking like the four columns, four or five columns and started working down. So that's exactly where I started here as well. I did have this full um, block done and then I just basically started filling in all this. I did all the dark colors. Focus. There we go. Really pretty. I love these colors, but there's all of her. Just a little bit of her face and I'm starting to fill in the background. She's beautiful. All right, next up is my cottage. So a little bit of backstory on my cottage. I started stitching this and realized this seems significantly smaller than some of my other um, 40 by 50 patterns. What's going on? And so finally I took a tape measure to it and I decided to measure it because I noticed that the stitch count, I don't know, for some reason I was just like, why is this so small? I've noticed that it's been small before, but it just now is starting to click in that like, wait, this is really small. So I did a measurement. It's actually like closer to a 30 by 40 other than a, a 40 by 50. And so, uh, Sorry guys, oh, all the yawning. I, every time I do a video, I don't know what it is. My true inner tired self comes out. Um, anyway, so I did the measurements. I ended up sending the shop on AliExpress a message saying, hey, not to bug you or sorry for bugging you, but this is actually, I think a 30 by 40 and I think you might've sent me the wrong size. Can you like, let me know what's going on? And then I also noticed that this top corner, which this is the first project I've had this problem with, this top corner is kind of misaligned, so the black line is off the hole a little bit, which makes some of the symbols like misaligned. So just this top corner is a little hard to stitch. So I was like, well, if I'm already messaging them about the size, I might as well message them about that too, you know. Well, they ended up reaching back out to me. They reached back out to me and said, hey, like the product description specifically says that the, the actual canvas size is 30 by uh, 40 by 50, but the, the stitch size is a little bit smaller than that. I was like, oh, dang it. <laughs> I should have read the, the description a little bit better. So I was like, thank you so much for, you know, looking into that. So sorry for bugging you. Thank you for pointing me in the right direction. So anyway, this one, I started working on it. I put it in a small timeout while I was waiting to hear from the shop. And now it's pulled back out of a timeout because this is, I mean, that's what I purchased, I guess. So it is what it is. So anyway, I just started filling in some more, I think I was doing this brown color and some more of this dark brown, but again, just like picking the symbols and stitching until my thread runs out and also stitching it like four or five columns and working my way down to meet up with the bushes down here. So from far, that's what we got so far. But yeah, I really, I really love the cottage. It's so whimsical. It reminds me of like a, I don't know, like, a cottage in like a fairy tale dream of some sort. I don't know. It's just, I like it. it. Makes me happy. Okay, next up, I stitched a little bit more on the um, horse fairy. That's just what I call her. Not too much more. I think I got another like 150 stitches in compared to last time. So, again, just filling in some of those stitches, which actually this corner is starting to look super good. Um, these are like the trees behind, behind her. So she's like riding a horse on a forest. Is it a unicorn? I can't remember. I'll answer the picture right here though. <laughs> so we know what, what we're looking at, but she's, she's looking super good. Again, just trying to take all my projects and fill in, fill it in. There she is. Loving it. Really glad I brought that one back out. It's nice to work on some of my older projects. Okay, next up I got a stitching shelf. I worked on this a couple of days. I think I got about a thousand stitches total done on it. Maybe a little bit less. Maybe more like 800. Something like that. I don't know. I'm still stitching this one kind of diagonally. Sorry, all the parked threads. Just, it is what it is. <laughs> the shadow's kind of there. There we go. There she is. Mm -hmm. 
slowly but surely working on her. She's super beautiful. I love, I love the stitching shelf. Like, I absolutely love it. All the women in it are, like, my type of era. <laughs> like, the late 1800s, maybe a little early 1800s. They're all stitching. They're all beautiful. All the background's beautiful. But this one is really hard for me to work on just because of all of the confetti at the start. If anyone has this pattern, they know the top left corner is confetti. Confetti, you know what word I'm, I'm thinking of. Confetti blank. Fill in the word. <laughs> anyway, so it, just, it is what it is. Um, so I can only stitch this one a little bit at a time because my eyes start to go cross-eyed. <laughs> Is looking super good. Look at all the flowers. And this is um, 22 count, 2 over 1 tent. So still getting all those details. Even stitching tent. It's really nice. All right. I think I got two more. <laughs> okay. Next one is an oldie but a goodie. Um, I didn't do any stitch with me as this week, but I did work on Treasure Hunt Bookshelf. I love this pattern. I absolutely love it. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah, I just, I can't say enough about this pattern. It's so beautiful. Amy Stewart did such a good job. Um, so again, I'm just, I, so this one, I was, I was trying to work on it by the shelf, but I started realizing, and extreme cross country, and I started realizing that that's just too much for me. Like, I prefer to stitch in the hoop, as you can tell, and it's just... It's too much to stitch extreme cross country and get all the way over there because it's outside of my hoop and I don't want to move my hoop every two seconds. So what I started doing is I started, again, picking the color and filling it in. So I'm just filling in all my current pages right now. I'm currently working on four different pages because this bottom one is like uh, the start of one of the pages down below. So I still am going to stitch on it by shelf, but I'm just going to take it a little bit slower. Not extreme cross country, just regular cross country. So all I did this time, I think I stitched about 600 stitches on this and it's just all fill in stitches. So yeah, I'll move all that out of the way. Look how oh, all of the colors on this are just so lovely. And I've been watching, I I think her channel name, our uh, Instagram name, the Brown Eyed Stitcher. I think I'll link her here too. She, oh, she's I think just hit twenty five percent. So congratulations! I'm super proud of you for hitting twenty five percent. As I've gotten like fifteen thousand stitches done on this, and this is as far as I've gone. <laughs> but her progress is super good. I absolutely love her stitching shelf. And she's definitely motivated me a lot and has requested that I stitch on this. So, um, thank you so much for keeping me motivated and stitching on this. I, I really appreciate everybody, every one of you. So yeah, so all I did is I picked a stitch, stitched it until the page was over and then parked it either below or to the side, wherever the color showed up next. So that's why I have so many park stitches right now because I'm just parking them in the next page, which is awesome because then I'll be ready to stitch that later. So yeah, it's lovely. I love this. It's just a little overwhelming sometimes. So I'm glad I pulled it back out though. It will stay out for a while because I, I want to get these pages completely filled in. So there we go. Ooh, I'm starting to get tired from holding that up. Ooh. All right. Last but not least, I have a new start. Surprise, surprise, not surprised. I know you're all not surprised. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> I ordered another stamped kit. I have more on the way, unfortunately, and fortunately, because I just can't help myself. But um, you see a beautiful pattern and you just get you get hooked in, but I know, sorry, <laughs> sorry everybody, but new, new pattern. So I'll go ahead and insert a picture of it right here. And it is lovely. Um, my daughter's already claimed this pattern for herself. <laughs> so, um, this is as far as I've gotten, which is pretty far considering this is a brand new pattern. I think I got it like the weekend after my video. So, um, not too shabby. The whole thing is like this. So you can't really tell what it is really <laughs> by the pattern. 
but here's one of the tops of the trees and then just filling in all of the trees. So let me see if I can get to focus. There we go. Again, I love all of these colors for this kit. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, this is 11 count, um, full cross, three strands, and it's 173 stitches by 216. So there she be. And that's all of the stitching. I know, that's all. That's all. It's only like a bazillion whips. <laughs> That's all the stitching I have this time. So plans. I am about to finish the present, the secret present. I am about to finish it. And I think, I don't know, my mom is guessing I'm going to have it finished October 16th. I still think I'm going to have it probably finished November 9th. We'll see. I'm hoping, I'm pushing really hard to get it finished sooner than that. So I'm hoping I can have it finished for the next video. I can't show you guys. I can't show you guys the secret project, but I'm so close. So a total of approximately 40,000 stitches and I've stitched 34 so far. So I'm about 85% done. And as soon as I get that one done, the fairy is going to take priority. Um, so I'll be making sure that I stitch on that at least every day um, or touch it every day. And then also like any, all my major stitching days will be that. Everything else just is kind of secondary. Um, because I'm stitching that present, I'm kind of my stitching partner for that is my mom. We decided that we were also going to start another project as soon as that is done. So as soon as that's done, uh, we've already uh, purchased our next project. And I'll wait and keep that as a surprise. Some of you already know what the project is because we talk on Instagram, like Emma and Kath, of course my mom, my husband. <laughs> but if anyone wants a sneak peek, I would be happy to share. But on the video, I'm gonna keep it a surprise unless you all specifically reach out to me on Instagram, then I would be happy to show you guys what the secret present is and its progress um and what my next like project that I'm stitching with my mom is going to be so it is a stamped kit I'm really loving the stamp kits with my busy oh, with my busy schedule <laughs> it's just a lot easier to stitch a stamped kit versus the counted during the day um and then normally kind of at night I pick a, a counted cross stitcher on the weekends is when I normally work on my hades. So yeah, those are the plans. So I'm so close to finishing the present. As soon as I finish the present, the fairy takes over as number one and then I'm stitching something else with her as well. So, um, yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate all of you newcomers returning thank you guys so much if you want me to stitch anything leave a comment down below if you guys want to see a um a progress pic of the secret present for christmas i would be happy to share um send me a uh direct message on instagram again it's schlesum underscore buggy stitcher on instagram um i'd be happy to share the picture i just can't post it on regular social media um and then, of course, the floss dupe because I don't know who watches my channels and who pays attention to my Instagram. So, um, but if you guys want to see it, I'd be happy to share. Send me a, a message. If anyone wants to pick something that I stitch, um, any any project that I obviously currently own, let me know um, in the comments down below. I'd be happy to stitch it. Um, thank you guys so much. I hope you have a fabulous stitching weekend and uh, stay warm. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.